Okay, so we're going to switch gears now. We're going to come back over here to what's going to be our keel. For those of you who were with us before and saw us laying it up, you'll remember this is made out of two pieces of 1 by 12. You can see, I think you can see the seam there. Yeah. See how? They're over, overlapped to give strength. On this side, this piece goes full to the front. It stops here. This piece comes down. So we've got the grain going in two directions. Everything is glued with a uh, nice strong urethane glue. Now, the first one we cut and laid out uh, with our lofting pattern. And then the second one uh, was laid under the first. We traced it and cut it a little bit wider. So you can see how there's an overhang here. I intentionally didn't worry about being real perfect on the second one because we just put a flush trim bit on our router and ran it along so the second would follow the same contours of the first. Then I just came along with my belt sander to true it up, give a nice smooth curve. If you look here, this is the best way or angle to look at it for from so you can see if you have any bumps or swerves in your curves. And we're going to do the same thing now to the bottom side. We're going to get those so they're all lining up nice and get a nice smooth curve on there. Although that part could be left until later. We're going to just clean that up a little bit now. Okay, for those of you who don't have one or haven't used one, these little trim routers are great for jobs like this. Okay, as you can see, it does a, a pretty nice job. It does a nicer job when you actually have two hands to handle the router and study yourself. But you can see where it took that down to nice and smooth. And now this whole area here kind of bulges up a little funny. So things like that, I'll come back and I'll fix later with my uh, belt sander. The idea here is just to use that to get the majority of your uh, overhang off. But that's the keel. This right here is the, the, the bow. Right now it's obviously upside down. There will be a bow sprit that will come right off here. We'll just do that to the entire thing now as we're building it and putting it together this is going to be flipped over so this part will ow son of a gun so this part will actually be resting down on the ground and it's going to get beat up a little bit so I don't need to get it perfect I just want to get all my curves pretty close get all these wobbles out and then later once it's the hull is mainly put together and we're ready to fiberglass and such. We're going to flip it over. We'll round this. Um, probably even going to put a metal strip on here just to take any abuse from being pulled up on beaches and such uh, after we're in the water. Uh, but the metal strip will probably go on after the fiberglass. Okay, and that's all for now. We're just going to keep on going with the sanding.